So here we have something special from Vosteed. This is something new from them and it has a patent pending lock and we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it works. Now, before we get into exactly how it works, I wanna show you the action so that you can kind of understand what's going on when we open it up and you can see you know, how the detent works and how the lock works and all of that. But as you can see, it is a sort of button lock. But very, very strong, very, very solid. And it is a damn vault. I mean, I've spine whacked it. This thing is rock solid. Now, the action, or sorry, you know what? LMAX steel, somewhat robust geometry, but it, it you know, it, it's plenty slicey. It's just fine. It does have LMAX steel, um, aluminum handles with this frag pattern. We have liners on the inside. We'll check that out in a second. TA hardware all the way around. Deep carry clip, not reversible, but maybe the final production will be. I'm not sure about that. Then you have a flipper tab with perfect jimping. You have a flipper tab with good jimping on it. You can light switch it. You don't want to push button it because it will come around and stop, but you can easily light switch it. And you can just lay your finger right on top and just kind of drag down like that. And it snaps out really good. So the flipper works great. Then you have the front flipper, which they did a good job with the jimping on this one. I normally prefer finer jimping, but this stuff's sharp enough that it works good. And the, you know, the detent is very well tuned for all deployments for the most part. Uh, but my favorite action is the reverse flick and the thumb flick just because that hole lands in such a natural spot for me. Like it's like, you know, you can kind of just do the have the pinch and your, your fingers lands right there. I like that. Now, being that it is a button pivot lock, you can also use the gravity by pushing the button and swinging it. Slow rolls really nice. So the action's great, but how does this locking system work? Okay, let's look at how this thing works. You can see it's using the very large bearings. Love to see that. Now you can see it's got this leaf here, right? This leaf has a nub on it. Now that nub has a detent ball on it. And that nub drops right into here, which acts, at, or basically, it's kind of like the lock we looked at the other day, well, depending on when you're watching this, um, but it is very different. I believe this is under patent pending, but it has three point, four points of contact. You have one, two, three, four points of contact. So theoretically, this will be very, very strong because unlike a liner lock that has a ramped surface that's pushing down on the liner, it can push that out of the way. This is hitting a flat surface so it's a flat surface on a flat surface when it's putting pressure so when this is applying pressure to close you know it's you know it would be a lot harder to push it out of the way because it's just pushing against you know a a, a flat surface um now the button oops, the button would be like so and you see the button Okay, this would drop right into there and then that would allow you to push the liner out of the way, but it's always creating tension and you know, that's why you have the detent and that's why when it does circle all the way around, bam, it drops into that groove and is locked up. And then in order to close it, you push the button and it will move out of the way and it will close. So it offers a very smooth action, but also allows you to have a very consistent liner lock detent, very similar to a liner, um, which again, you can tune this stronger um, just by you know bending it. It's very simple. They sent me extras right here. So this is basically the liner right here. Sorry for the focus. So this is basically the liner just doesn't have the detent ball. So you can theoretically bend this a little bit to increase the strength from the detent and the lock. Just like any liner lock or frame lock, you could do the same thing. Um, with a lot of button locks, you can do that. You can tune your own detent and lock strength. Um, but theoretically, this looks like it would be a very, very strong locking system considering it's a flat surface hitting a flat surface. And then when it is put together, you can see those two screws. That's where the smiley face goes and screws in to prevent it from spinning or anything like that or, you know, from coming out. Um, you can see the liner there getting pushed. 
when I push the button. But it's pretty easy actually to put together and take apart. Um, you know, it, it's got a little bit of parts, but it's not crazy. So this is a Kickstarter knife. So if you're wanting to get one, I will have everything linked down in the description. Um, it is pretty damn awesome. Um, the, the pivot on the other side right here where you unscrew this to take this off, you know, for this to, to come out, it has um, like basically a smiley face on it which is kind of interesting. Um, it has this pivot, uh, or sorry, not pivot, this lanyard tube, kind of like Spyderco, which I do like, and it's very easy to take on and off, so it's not like a Spyderco where it's like, it's press fit, it's not like that at all. Ergonomics are really good. Like I said, the lockup is a damn bank vault. Um, good sharp control and plunge grind. Very, very smooth on the drop. The stop pin, they do have one placed or it is the stop pin is placed back here. So this is the stop pin for the open and closed position. Normally I would prefer like an internal stop pin here, um, but this one, man, it is far back behind the edge. It's right here. Uh, so that's a lot of sharpening before you'll ever get to there. So I don't think it'll ever pose an issue. And if you ever did need to cut in your own choil, you could just do it in front of it. So not a big deal at all. Uh, but I do think that, um, well, you know, nah, never mind. I, I think it's just fine. No problems at all. And with it being, you know, what seems like a very strong lock, it, you know, in having a little bit more robust geometry, you might be able to be a little bit tougher on it. Now, you do want to be careful not to, if you're choked up right here, not to push the button, and, and, you know, with your finger. I say just cup your fingers around it so you don't even have you know any possibility of doing that um you know i don't have many negatives this is a prototype so you know anything i nitpick about can obviously be changed but the one things i would you know kind of nitpick you know maybe thin it out a little bit um the front flipper jimping could be a little bit finer always bring the jimping up and around the top because if i grip right here i don't want to do what i just did i want i don't want to slip i want to be able to flick it right out very effortless now this one's good so this one's not bad at all but it'd be cool if they just had one more jimping up there or even maybe just a couple little fine jimmings leave these the way they are just put a couple little fine ones up there kind of like these right here um other than that um what else what else what else the jimping right here you know yeah, it works. It, it gives you a little bit of traction right there. The chamfers around the edges are good. It is relatively comfortable. Choke back here, you are far from the edge. So you are going to want to choke up. Pinch grips are going to be where it's at. Um, so all in all, I really don't have very many uh, nitpicks or negatives. It's just very little minor stuff. Um, it's pretty damn cool. So yeah, um, can't wait to see this thing come out and uh, you know see what type of color options they have. It'd be cool if they did a titanium one. If it does well, maybe they will. But there you guys go. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.